What's going on, y'all? So we got new information when it comes to Super Dragon Ball Heroes, episode 38 and up. That key visual that I showed in the previous videos, now we got a more HD copy. And it looks like we were mostly right about the people we saw on there, but there is a big change. So if you're brand new, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. That way you can be reminded every time I upload a new video. As you see, starting from the left, we have Hearts, then Cumber, then we have Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Gogeta, in the middle we have Super Saiyan 3 Rose Goku Black at max power, we have Majin Omega Shinron as well as Super Saiyan 4 Broly, and behind that card we have Dr. Wheelo. Now the change that I was referring to is in the dead middle. Goku Black and the reason why I say that is because if you zoom in closely on his face this guy has his eyebrows back at this point we don't know how he got his eyebrows back or anything like that we can only assume that the more he keeps powering up he just so happened to grow them back if you look at the image closely you can see that the energy of Goku Black as well as Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Broly is just about the same did Goku Black just read Super Saiyan Rose 3 Limit Breaker? No, I really doubt it. But the fact that he regrew his eyebrows, or the fact he has his eyebrows right now, is very unusual. Another thing I want to go ahead and mention is seeing Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Gogeta right by Goku Black and his new transformation makes me think that Super Saiyan Blue regular Gogeta is not going to get the job done. It's going to take more power for him to actually put this guy down. But two, looking at this image, let us know that he no longer has the mask with him. He no longer has the Scarlet Mask. Which means this guy shouldn't be able to grow no farther in power so fast like he's been doing. Now Super 17 already pointed out that the mask increases power beyond its limits. But it's also a weakness at the same time. So I'm still trying to find out where that weakness is going to come in at. Is Gogeta going to actually take the dub here? Or will he just overload himself with so much power that his body just can't handle it? At the time of we actually recording this, we are at least a day and a couple of hours away from episode 38 actually being released out to us. I have a live stream counting down to that specific moment to where we actually get episode 38 released to us. But I want you guys to keep in mind that we're not going to see Gogeta versus Super Saiyan 3 Rose Goku Black yet. We're going to be seeing Ultra Instinct Goku and Dark Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta versus Goku Black at this time. We'll probably fuse at the end of this particular episode and then that's when we'll start to see Super Saiyan 3 Rose Goku Black versus Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. In other Dragon Ball news, we have our first preview into chapter number 76 of the Dragon Ball Super Official Manga. I will be making a more detailed video on my second channel, Yellow Place 2.0. And we are due to get more draft pages tomorrow, which will be the 14th of September. It does indeed look like Vegeta has powered down to base form. And thanks to DBS Chronicles on Twitter, link will be down in the description below if you want to go ahead and check them out. Their dialogue actually says, the one who decides my fate is none other than me. So in this life, Vegeta did indeed lose this fight. We knew that he was down on the ground, but at the end of chapter number 75, he still had his transformation intact. You do need to keep in mind that he did have another Sensu Beam, but... I don't know if it got discarded when he threw away his armor because he's not wearing his armor anymore. Meanwhile, Granola has unlocked his other eye which will increase his strength and targeting ability. So at this point, I'm really confused about how they're going to go forward with this or they're going to find a sense of being and split it. Goku's trying to heal himself a little bit. Once we get those draft pages tomorrow that shows more information about what's going to happen in chapter number 76 of the Dragon Ball Super Manga, I will make a more detailed video on my second channel and I will link it in any video that I make on this channel. Now one thing I do want to go ahead and point out that they seem to be hyping Gogeta as a character up this whole entire year. I mean he was just recently added to Legends, he's just been added to Xenoverse 2 which by the way has been out for many many years they're hyping his fight up between him as well as Goku Black and Super Dragon Ball Heroes so why wouldn't he come in the Dragon Ball Super Manga as well Goku and Vegeta are out of power 
they could easily do the fusion dance, which they should actually know by now because this takes place after Dragon Ball Super Broly. Once fused into Gogeta, they can take the Sensu Bean and go ahead and fight Granola then. There's just so much Gogeta hype around that I can totally see him coming in the future chapters of the original Dragon Ball Super manga. Questions for the end of this video. Question number one, how do you think Goku Black got his eyebrows back? Do you think he just simply grew them back because of the sheer power that he has? Or B, could this be his way of going into Super Saiyan 4? Look, with Super Dragon Ball Heroes, anything is possible at this point. Question number two, we see that Goku Black is not wearing a Scarlet Mask anymore that gives him more power. We also seen when he first transformed into Super Saiyan Rose 1, mask indeed cracked. At the end of episode 37, we can see more cracks in that mask. So my question is, do you think Gogeta or Goku or Vegeta combined efforts broke that mask? Or do you think the mask broke on its own due to the sheer power? Question number three. Do you want to see Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Broly join in this fight? Not as an ally, but kind of how he did with the fight between Goku and Hearts versus Golden Metal Cooler and Golden Freezer. I think it would be really cool if they brought us a Goku Black versus Broly fight. Somebody has to stall him why Goku and Vegeta actually fuse. Think about it. Hearts can't last. Cumber is not going to be able to last. Maybe the combined efforts of Broly and Cumber, but I think that'll be too much. Let me know your answers to those questions in the comment section below. I'm very eager to go ahead and see y'all replies. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. That way you'll be reminded every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Which will most likely be my review for Super Dragon Ball Heroes Episode 38 because it comes out tomorrow. If you made it to the end of the video, then 9 times out of 10, you're a very loyal subscriber. And I thank you for your continued support. As you well know, Yellow Plays is where I post all my Dragon Ball content. Effective immediately, I will be posting all Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Super Manga, or Dragon Ball Super Fan Animations or Mangas on my second channel, Yellow Plays 2.0. All Super Dragon Ball Heroes content will remain on this channel. For those ones who may not know, I also have a gaming channel called The Yellow. It has 43,000 subscribers on it. So show me some support if you follow my Dragon Ball Super manga videos a lot then subscribing to Yellow Plays 2.0 will be the best choice. Once again thank you for watching to the end of this video and I thank you all for your continued support.